Hey everybody, thanks for hopping on again. Today is just one of those days where I am just non-stop, uh, for one thing, being hit with inspiration, but for the second thing, having like serious technological issues. Anyways, I wanted to bring this um, video to you about um, emotional triggers and oh, what do they actually mean um what can we do about them i just wanted to share that with you because this is something that i personally have been working through a lot lately so my name's tabitha jane thanks for hopping on and um you know if you enjoy my content if you find value first of all please leave a comment um, but second of all, go ahead and like and subscribe. I appreciate you. Um, but really, truly, I just want it more connected than anything. Emotional triggers. Here's the thing. When you're going throughout your day and you're doing this, that, you know, um, whatever it is, something happens and it triggers a very strong, um, response within you. I had one earlier. I was listening to an Abraham Hicks um, inspirational um, one of her videos where it's about just uh, you know that mindset meditation raising your vibes that kind of thing and in the middle of listening to it she said something about are you deserving of a good life I'll tell you what, I heard it, and I've heard this video before. I've heard it many times for whatever reason today. I guess today I'm in the right place, at right place, right time. Anyways, it was like a sucker punch to the heart. So when something like that happens, that is an emotional trigger. And that is a moment where you want to take notice. Granted, you know, life is what it is. We may not always have the option to stop in that moment of time and address it. But when you do have that sacred personal time, and I, I, I recommend you find a way to make it because there's a reason for the response that you had. So I personally was able, I stopped the video and I journal, you know, I, I, I journal, I ask myself questions. Um, actually on this, this occasion, I actually did an audio recording, which was a little bit awkward, but it's it still, um, once we, I say we, because it was me and my past self, once we got past the awkwardness of it, uh, we really were able to communicate with each other. So what I'm sharing with you is these emotional triggers. When you feel a really strong emotional response, there's a reason. There's something there. And I very, very strongly feel that those things are calling, they're crying. They're crying for our attention they are crying for resolution integration they're crying for acknowledgement and you know the saying is what you resist persists so the most quickest and efficient way to resolve those really intense emotional triggers is to acknowledge it and accept it and work through it. So I used um, techniques for inner child work and actually I went back to when I was a teenager. She was snotty. <laughs> she was arrogant. <laughs> and kind of a little bit bitchy, not going to lie. But that was true and authentic. And I heard her, I listened to her, I didn't judge her, because 
those feelings are valid. There's no right, there's no wrong feelings. Your feelings are your feelings. The thing of it is, by acknowledging them, by spending time with them, by giving them the voice, they didn't have at that moment in time, whatever that period of time may be for you, by doing so, it literally releases everything. I mean, I get, like I said, I, I, I audio, I did an audio recording of me talking to me. And when I listened to it again, that's like, I had no, I, I, I didn't have the emotional response I had while I was in the moment. And while I was in the moment, the, the emotional intensity was really, it was incredible. It was intense. But it's like, it's all okay now. It's totally okay. I really, really strongly feel, I wanted to share this because I really strongly feel it is very important for us to create an awareness around those intense emotional moments. And that, and that means, you know, listening to yourself. There's a reason you feel the way you feel. And again, there's no, it, it's not right or wrong. It is what it is. And making it a priority to make time, give yourself that gift of time, the gift of listening, the gift of hearing, the gift of giving yourself whatever it was you needed in that moment of time. I'm still looking into um, ancestral DNA um, memories. Does that pass on? I, I don't know. But I do know I more and more am dealing with things that happened as a child that I really do strongly feel have been limiting me and blocking me in my life progression. And that's why I wanted to share with you all and anybody out there who wants help. Sometimes it's just nice to have a safe place. And sometimes it's just nice to know you can talk to someone. There's not going to be judgment. Um, I, I'm not going to lie. I struggled with asking myself the right questions. I really did picking up my nails because yeah, one of those uh, anxiety things, but it was hard. It was really hard because I didn't know. Honestly, I didn't know how strongly I felt or how hurt I was in that particular area. I've been resolving things. I mean, multiple things. And for this one to rear up out of nowhere, blindsided me. And then when I made time for it, it really um, was hard. So, anyways, um, if I can be of help to you through your healing process... Um, please do feel free to reach out to me and uh, we can set up a time to talk. Anyway, so I, I just wanted to share that and share with you my experience. Like I said, today's just been one of those crazy days. I have just been like the majority of my day has been one insight after another, after another, after another, which is way cool. Uh, it's a little bit of mental overload and I, I just wanted to share. So anyways, I hope you all are having a great day and I will talk to you next time around. Thank you. Like, subscribe, comment. Please comment more than anything. Just let me know I'm not the only one out there going through this. Really, main thing. All right, guys. Catch you later. Bye.